Catherine. Welcome to Amateur Decorating Like a Pro. I am Catherine. I woke up today with the intention to just thoroughly clean the kitchen, including the windows. And lo and behold, I started polishing the table. And the next thing you know, I'm thinking fall tablescape. So let's start right here. The placemats, they are from Kroger several years ago. The charger from Michaels several years ago. The melamine plates, well, they are from Sam's Club as far back as 2019. So yeah, this stuff is already in existence and I'm just pulling it out and enjoying it. And it comes with a matching bowl. Now, a couple of years ago, this plate set inspired a mantle, this mantle in the living room from 2019. Now, if you kind of stumble around with where to place a fork, spoon, and a knife on a play setting, keep it simple. Think about the words left and right. Right has five letters, left has four letters. So, fork has four letters, put that on the left. Knife and spoon have five letters, put those on the right. And remember, the knife belongs next to the plate. To the left, to the left, always place the fork on the left. To the right, to the right, that is for the spoon and knife. I wanted the copper to balance, so I've got the copper napkin rings and I have the copper flatware. The flatware is from Walmart. They have a variety of colors and flatware. I'm pretty sure you will enjoy purchasing, I think a 16 or 20 piece set for at least $29.99. The napkin rings, by the way, they are from Pier One. I've had those a couple of years as well. Fall to me is all about pops of color and it really kind of gets you excited about the holiday season. These are copper spray painted pine cones. I found those in my neighborhood. They were a pretty good size. The faux pumpkins, those came from Dollar Tree several years ago and I only have four of them. So that's perfect. Three of one thing and four of the other odd number makes a unique combination inside of my twig bowl. And I purchased that from a local boutique. I have a larger one as well. And I only pull that out during the fall season. I just love the whole rustic vibe that it sends to the table to be used as a centerpiece love this i also considered hanging them on the wall and it's just a pretty accent for this area this area has a lot of browns and wood in it and i decorated this space based upon my husband's likes he likes that down home kind of rustic vibe just reminds him of how he grew up Melamine dishes, although they are pretty to look at, they cannot be placed in the microwave. So we'll have these little glass plates here if we need to heat something up and just pop it in the microwave. It also doubles as a saucer. I have glass coffee cups, which I absolutely love. Whenever I shop for glasses, I shop for color, I shop for style. 
it doesn't matter what it says on the label. If it says wine or whatever, you want that glass to drink your iced tea or orange juice out of, you get that glass. Look how beautiful these glasses are on a breakfast table. Absolutely stunning, picking up the colors from the pumpkins, as well as the plates. I love the movement of the metals and the textures across this table. It's just so fun to me and it really makes me smile pulling all the colors from just a plate and bringing those to life on the table and not overdoing it with the centerpiece. Yes, it's just around the corner. I wanna thank you so much for stopping by. If you are not a subscriber, please consider doing so today. Thanks a lot for watching and as always, stay in prayer and stay creative.